and like, ah, you're too noisy. I'm like, I said, you don't have to be around me. Friendship may actually go beyond just relating on a it's play, superficial, a superficial basis. basis. There's the adage that says, show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are. There are some of us who are not very good at regular visit, but mm. because they are friends, you mm. have to in order to maintain that friendship. The emotional state of the parents is usually directly proportional to the emotional state of, of the children. Christmas viewers and welcome again to our favorite family show, The Living Room, right here on Equa Television. Today, Christmas Day, we have a very special program for you and I hope your Christmas Day is going on great. Hope you're having a good time. As we said before, don't overeat oh. <laughs> so that you are balanced and you don't fall ill after the celebrations. So today we're here with some of my very young friends. Um, We'll shortly introduce them, and they are here to talk about Christmas from their own point of view. So we have here um, the studio with me. Max Lamselli. Yes. Genome Vichosali. Eden Quartzbok. And my name is Amaka Ucheke. So they've introduced themselves, but before we delve into the Christmas issue, I'm sure you'd be interested in knowing what their names mean. So Makla, what does your name mean? Worthy of praise. Worthy of praise. Janom. Strength of God. Strength of God and Eden. God's delight. God's delight. I'm sure you've been hearing of Garden of Eden, but you don't know what it means. So today, viewers, you've heard what Eden means. So how, how old are you guys? You? I'm nine years old. I'm nine years old. I'm nine years old. And what class is, are you? At? The same class. You, you are in class what? Grade five. Grade five. Grade four. Grade four. Grade three. Grade three. So you can see we have big, young ladies and gentlemen here with us. So is this your first time here? Yes. Have you ever been on TV before? No. This is your first time. Janom, have you been here before? No. What of you, Eden? I've been here before. You've been here before. So are you guys nervous? No. No. Good. Don't be nervous. This is just normal talk, so just relax. So, how are you enjoying this season, this season of Christmas? Do you like Christmas? Yes. Yes. All of you like Christmas? Yes. yes. Okay. So, let's start with you, uh, Matlan. What do you like about Christmas? Christmas is, the ti is a time we get to celebrate. We get to, get to spread love to each other. We get to share. We get to... Go places, visit people. So you like the celebration and you like the visiting, enjoyment. Okay, Janom, what do you like about Christmas? Since I you say you like, like Christmas, um, in, I like Christmas because you have to um, have fun with your friends and um, eat you a lot of food. <laughs> yes. I know you like that one. Yes. What's your favorite food? Um, anyone. Hey, Janom. Yes. What's your favorite food? Anyone. You like to? Owe? Yes. So you'll be happy to eat to owe today? Yes. Uh, you don't want rice and chicken? Yes. You don't want? Uh, I want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Eden. What do you like about Christmas? I like that this is the time Jesus was born. Okay. You like it because Jesus was born today? Yes. Okay. What else do you like about Christmas? I like family time. Oh, family time. Tell me about family time. When you say family time, what do you mean? Because I, I've been told that you like family time. So what do you mean by family time? Eating together. Okay, eating together with everybody. And what else? Doing stuff together. Yes. Doing stuff together. Okay. So, um, when, so now we're celebrating Christmas. What's Christmas all about? I think you've started, but tell us more about it. What's Christmas all Christmas about? Christmas is the time when Jesus was born. Okay. He was born in Bethlehem. 
His mother's name was Mary. His father's name was Joseph. Okay. So, what else do you want to add to what she has said about what Christmas is all about? Like she said, Christmas is all about is the birth of Jesus Christ. And it's the day we celebrate his birth that our Savior was born. Okay. Mark Plum. Christmas shows... Christmas shows us the Lord God has for us. So the Lord He showed us on Christmas Day was to send His Son to Earth through His mother Mary. Okay. So um, we we we've talked about God's love shown in at Christmas. So yes. Yeah. So what does it mean to us individually now that God sends His Son? What does it mean to us? He means that um, that a savior was um, that Jesus died on the cross for all our sins. Okay, so a savior came to die on the cross for our sins. So yes. what has happened to our sins? Um, they have been um, forgiven. Forgiven and washed away. Yes. Do you agree then? I agree. So do you think this washing away is for everybody or you need to do something for it to apply to you? You need to do something for it to apply to you. So what do you need to do? You need to ask Jesus to be your Lord and Savior and to come into your heart so he can live with you. Okay. Mark Plan, do you agree with that? Yes. Okay, or you want to add something else? Mm. So so when Jesus comes into our hearts, what does what does that mean? Or how does that change the way you live or affect the way you live? You turn from your bad ways to good ways, and you draw closer to Jesus Christ. Okay, so what are some of the bad ways, or the bad ways you turn from, to the good ways? General. Um, stealing. Mm -hmm. Lying. Mm -hmm. Cheating. And so many more. Okay, so when we have Jesus in our hearts, we are able to live the way God wants us to live. Yes. So, let's be honest here. Yes. Are we always doing the right thing? Um, not no. always. <laughs> not always. So, when you don't do the right thing, what do you do? I ask God to forgive me. Okay. Eden, what do you do? I ask God to forgive me. And then do you go back and do it again? No. No. So, what do you do? When you ask God to forgive you, what do you do? Um... Ask Bye. for forgiveness from your parents too. Okay, if you offended them. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then you 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 make up your mind not to do that again, right? Yes. yes. Okay, that's good. So now we understand what Christmas means because yes. it doesn't make sense celebrating and we don't know what it is all about. So, how are we or how do we celebrate Christmas in our house? Let's start with you, Mark Plan. How do you guys celebrate Christmas in the Felix Pool family? Okay, we, after making the stuff we need to make, we, sh we distribute it among our neighbors. Oh, nice. So please, what kind of stuff do you guys make? Sometimes we bake cake, make nice. chin chin, we fry meat. Okay. So how much, how many chickens will you need to kill to be able to give your neighbors? Um, like about three or more. Wow, that's a lot. That means you really keep busy at Christmas. Jenom, how do you celebrate Christmas in the Beatrice Sally mm. household? We go out with our family and friends. Okay. We eat food a lot. Eat food a lot? Yes. Who cooks the food that you eat a lot? My mom. <laughs> I hope you help. No. You don't help? <laughs> yes. Now, I'm going to tell your mom not to give you food again if you don't help. You should do something now. At least... Yes. What can you do when it comes to cooking? What what things can you do in the kitchen? Um, can't you cut vegetables? Yes. Huh? Yes. You can cut vegetables. Yes. Okay. So why don't you cut vegetables? Um, nothing. Do you put bake? I know your mom makes masa. Do you do you help her make masa? No. But you eat it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and before she used to bake cake. She used to bake cake. What before. has made her stop? I don't know. Even bread she used to. Bake. Are you serious? Yes. Well, my mom is very busy, so I'm sure it's time constraint that is the problem. Yes. Eden, 
How do we celebrate Christmas in the Kotbok household? We make a lot of things and share among our friends, go and visit family members. Okay, what kind of things do you make? Chin chin, donuts, mm. drinks. Wow. Meat. So do you help in doing any of those things? I help with... What do you help to do? I help covering the trees and I'm going to use to give neighbors around. Okay. But what of in the food preparation? Help mommy me fry the chicken. You help You can fry chicken? Mm-mm. If she's doing, so, when she, she does something else, I tell her when it's time, when, if the chicken is ready for her to fetch it out. Okay. Okay. Macron, what do you do to help in the cooking? I help my mother bake the cake. Okay. I help her make the chin chin, do the cutting. Oh, you can cut chin chin? Yes. Can you mix it? Yes. Okay. Um... And also, if we're cooking, I also help her okay. with the cooking. That's nice. It's nice to help your parents. Jenom, yes. start helping. Okay. Start helping. Not only eat, start helping. And okay. I'm sure mommy will be happy about that. But in all these things you have mentioned, what's your favorite thing about Christmas? What is the thing you like best about Christmas? Jenom, tell us. Eating. Eating. <laughs> <laughs> you like eating best about Christmas. Okay, yes. Maplan, what do you like best about Christmas? Um, I like that we have that we ha that we get to share things with other people and go out. Okay, that's what you like best. So you like going out and sharing things. And I see that. What's like your favorite thing about your favorite thing about Christmas? I like going to family members' houses. Okay, like. Going to family members' houses. Visiting. So you like visiting. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, now you guys are nine years old, so you must have experienced at least eight. This is your ninth Christmas. So looking back, can you tell me about the best Christmas you've ever had? Macron, can you remember your best Christmas? I think when I was four. Okay, what happened? Tell us about it. We went to an amusement park. I can't really remember. I went there. Okay, it was wild bunch. I got lost. So you got lost. <laughs> so my cousin went around looking for me. She said she was looking for a dark girl. And then they ended up finding me in the kitchen. Kitchen of where? Of wild bunch. Wow. What were you doing there? You were eating. I was looking for food to eat. <laughs> <laughs> but were you scared when they couldn't find you? No. You weren't scared? Okay. Because I was around food, so... So you were happy, so... All right. Jenna, what of you? Um, What's your favorite Christmas so far? Um, I think this year's Christmas. Okay. Why? Um, because... Of the food. Okay, the food. Yes. What food? <laughs> Any kind of food. Okay, so you've enjoyed to this Christmas because of the food. Yes. Fine. Eden, what has been your favorite Christmas? Christmas, my seven-year-old Christmas. Okay, what happened? My seven-year-old Christmas, we had a, all my family members ate food at my grandma's house. Okay. So, because there was large family time now, there were plenty of family members. Yes, I'm sure it's not just the food. What else about it made you happy? We played a lot of games on the phone. Okay. So, okay. So you liked family time and the fact that you had opportunity to play a lot of games. Okay. So if you had your, if you could have your wish, what kind of Christmas would you want? Just think about it. If you had, if you could have any kind of Christmas you would want, what kind of Christmas would you like to have? 
I'd like to have a Christmas where mommy will cook mommy will cook rice, chicken, donuts, cakes, chin chin, buy five different types of soft drinks. Okay. You like and soft have drinks. And have people come to our house. Okay, you like people to come to your house. Okay. So I should come. Yes. Alright, I'll see. I hope I'll have the time to do that. What would, if you had your way, how would you want Christmas to be? Um, I want Christmas to be like in our dining room, there'll be a very large amount of food. Okay, and what kind um, of food? Um, like two rice, spaghetti, macaroni, and many more. Okay, nice. I like it very much. I wish to have a Christmas where I'll visit people, I'll share, I'll share a lot of things and have family times. I have family time with my family members. Okay. You share a lot of things to who? My neighbors, my friends, okay. my cousins. Okay. Interesting. You have lots of cousins, right? Yes. So you have a very large family. Okay. Um, I have heard from what you guys have said, looks like you people enjoy family times. Yes. A lot. Like, so now, mommies and our daddies who are watching, tell us, I know you've explained some of it, but what do you want? Because I'm sure family times, it won't just be, if you had your way, it won't just be only Christmas. You want to have family time all the time. So what is your ideal family time? When you're saying family time, what do you want our parents to know or understand by family time what you want them to do? My plan, let's start with you. Okay. Um... Our family time should be when we, when the parents get to teach their par their children more about God. They play together, they eat and drink and sing together. Oh. Show love to each other. Okay, so sit together, talk together, play together. Yes. Okay, sing together. I I hear. You. Does your daddy sing? <laughs> Does yes, but he goes off key and on key. Wow! <laughs> I haven't heard him sing before, but I know your mommy sings. Okay. So, um, Jenna, when we say family time, what would you want our mommies and daddies to know, understand by what you desire family time to be? Okay. Um, I want family time to be like we have time to visit the orphanage. Um. <clears throat> we sit down and talk, we have fun, we visit our family, friends, our neighbors, and have to share a lot of stuff with them. Okay, and you do all that with everybody, mommy, daddy, and your Yes. Okay, Eden, family time. I what would you want our mommies and daddies to hear? I want family time to be you. When we come together, we talk together, we play games. We go to people, visit them, give them things, wish them merry, a Merry Christmas, make them feel loved. Okay, and you want everybody in the family to do that together? Yes. So parents, I hope we're listening. Children are saying they want you to be available, to talk with them, sing with them, even though you are going off key, daddy, but... <laughs> Still sing with them, play games, visit, go out together, right? Mm -hmm. Visit places together, visit neighbors, but they all want you to do them together, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so based on what I'm hearing too, it also means that you can still enjoy Christmas even if your parents don't have a lot of money, right? Yes, yes ma'am. So how would you enjoy Christmas if they don't have a lot of money? Tell us. Okay, Christmas. There's no money. Christmas must not be about eating a lot of food, going to amusement parks. As far as you have your family members and they, and they show love and care for you, that's, that, has, that should have made up your Christmas. Okay, so even if mommy and daddy don't have a lot of money, they can't take yes. you to amusement park or something. But if they're at home 
and yes. they are loving each other, it's okay. As far as we can watch movies together, play games, so have our phone, phone at home. At home together, that's yes. good. Okay, Jenna, what? Um, do they have to have money? If they don't have money, um, we can <coughs> do a lot of stuff at home, like we will visit our neighbors, we will um, watch movies together. Yes, and we will have a lot of fun at home, okay. like playing together. Okay, so you like your parents playing with you? Yes. Oh, nice. He's saying it with a smile. <laughs> Eden, no money, can we still have fun at Christmas? Can we enjoy Christmas? Yes, we can play together in, in the parlor, and especially daddy's to play. Okay, what else? Eat together. Eat together, okay. So, if this Christmas, your parents don't buy, they, they are not, or at this Christmas or any Christmas, your parents are not able to buy you clothes, Will you spoil your Christmas? Will you spoil your Christmas? No. So new clothes don't make Christmas. What you need is your family together. to be together and to be available to spend time with each other. Yes. Yes. Parents, I hope we are listening. We don't need clothes. We need you. We need your presence. We need you to play with us, sing with us, watch movies, right? Yes. With us. Yeah, the way you're saying yes, you really like them watching movies with you. Yes. Who doesn't like watching movies in your house? Um, um, Everybody likes watching movies. Yes. Okay, so you want them to always watch movies with you. Okay, so what is the lesson for Christmas? What can we do for other people during Christmas? I think you've mentioned some of it, but what else can we do? Okay, like what we do in my grandpa's house we usually have shall i say exchange of gifts oh, nice. so we we put the gifts under a big christmas tree so on boxing day myself and my cousin Kila, we usually distribute the gifts if we're giving to this person we say from you from um our big mommy to you like we did last year and we did this year we wrote names in a piece of paper and then we dish and then you pick it you pick a name and then you and then you open the paper see a name and then you get a gift for, for the person, person. Okay. yes before boxing day okay. but we have time to do the last minute wrapping we don't care okay nice what of you um, like I said, we'll visit the orphanage. We will <coughs> have a lot of fun with our friends. We will. So spend time with your friends and with our family orphans friends. And your family members. Yes. Okay. I would like us to share our share some things that we, that we make for Christmas. Oh, okay, nice. With people around in our neighborhood. Okay, nice. So right now we'll go on break. When we come back, we will continue our discussion about Christmas and what the children think Christmas should be. Thank you for not touching that dial and we'll see you right after the break. See you. <laughs> Welcome back viewers from the break. Thank you so much for not touching that dial. We'll be talking about Christmas with our kids. Um, and we have been exploring their views 
and their opinions about Christmas and how they spend Christmas. My name is Amaka Ucheke, and I've been here with Mark Plank, Felix Poole, Jenom, Beatrice Ali, and Eden Quatbok, all nine-year-olds who have so much to say about Christmas. So, now we've talked a lot about how we do, do Christmas at home, what we like about Christmas. Now, what do we do about children like you who do not have homes or who do not have the means to do Christmas or who do not have parents who live in the streets, on the streets, or who are in orphanages like um, um, Jenom had told us that they visit sometimes. What, do you, what would you tell us to do for these children this Christmas period? Mapla, I start with you. Okay, we can distribute a lot of things like shoes, clothes, um, money, food, and etc. Like in a local government here on Plateau State, Mangu local government, we know there have been attacks even in different local governments. So, um, so there are a number of IDP camps? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So like what I've learned learned from the Equa Plateau Church Women Fellowship. They go out, they distribute clothes, food, items, and many things to those in the IDP camps. And I think um, if we get children on the streets, like all these beggars, we should, we should help them, at least if we can give even 15 Naira to them. That will help them a lot. And then I think we should also, um, those with disabilities, we should not look down on them. If we have the money, the time, we can take them to the hospital to get treatment. treatment. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. And I think we should also we should also um, stop the stop um, looking down on children who don't have Christmas clothes when they wear their old clothes, their old shoes. We should not be like um, these people are poor; they don't have anything. You, uh, okay, Mr. Beatrice Ali, <laughs> Mr. Ali General, seriously now. So, what do we do for disadvantaged children, children who don't have as much? What can we do? Um, I know you've mentioned visiting them in the orphanages. What else can we do? Um, we give them a lot of um, worn out clothes, our clothes, worn out or. Oh. Clothes you are no more using. Yes, clothes. One out means that the oh. clothes are torn, threadbare. You, you can't use them again. Okay. Is that what to give somebody? <laughs> no. Exactly. Like what we did in our school. Okay, what did you do in your school? We gave, we visited the orphanage. Oh, nice. And we gave them all the clothes, some clothes that we don't wear again. Because you've outgrown them. Now you're yes. growing a lot, so... You have yeah. a lot of clothes that you have grown, okay? We gave them food, drinks, and lots of new clothes and shoes. And we think that we should help them and, and um, make them to feel happy. Okay, what can you do to make them feel happy? to like um accept them in your homes and also like um um, um be helping them with money or food okay so when you went to the i'm just curious when you guys went to the orphanage what did you do there did you just say okay orphanage we are here take the food take the clothes bye no. What did you do? We prayed with them. We sang um, Christmas songs. And we made lots of friends. Okay. So did you play games? No. You didn't play games? But yes. you made friends? Yes. Okay. Nice. Eden, what can we do with t for children who do not have the means, they don't have parents, or they are homeless, 
or things are just difficult for them at this time? So you can just give them, you can help them with financial issues, even your little piggy bank, even if you think it's just, even if it's just, as little as you think it may be, you can just give them and you'll be surprised that it will just turn their face around. They'll feel so happy. You have a piggy bank. You see, what yeah. do you put, how do you get money to put in the piggy bank? For me and daddy, I get that money sometimes. Okay, so when people give you money, you put it in your piggy bank? Yes. So when do you open the piggy bank? At special locations like Easter, Christmas, my birthday. Okay. If I notice it's full in October, I'll leave it till November. I won't leave it till December. Okay. If after my birthday, let's say day after my birthday, and when I want to keep money, I now notice it's full, I'll leave it till Christmas. Oh, nice. Do you have a piggy bank? Out of you. Okay. So, do you save money? Or your mommy saves your money for you? She saves it. Does she really save you? Because I hear sometimes mommies, when they give them money, they spend your money. Is it true? Yeah, sometimes. they use. Your mommy spends your money. Yeah. I'm going to tell her. Yes? They use the money to buy stuffs for us. Like yeah. what? Like food, stuffs. Food. Clothes. They use your money to buy food. <laughs> okay, that's very interesting. Okay, then back to you. So, what, aside from giving those um, um, disadvantaged children money, what else can we do for them? We can give them worn out, the clothes that we're not using, like Janelle said. Okay. The clothes that you have outgrown. Yes. Okay. What else can you do? We can, we can bring them to our homes to live with us if they're homeless. Or we can help take them to the orphanage okay. where they can take care of them. We can give things to the orphanage to help take care of them. All right. That's nice. There's something Jerome and said. Okay. I think in conclusion, we should also pray for them on a daily basis. Oh, nice. Yes, we need to pray. Everybody needs prayers, but we need to pray for them. But there's something Jerome said that I found very interesting, that when they went to the orphanage, that they made friends with the kids. I think that's also a very good thing, making friends with people who think yeah. may not be able, are not like you. Yes. So people friend. think of them as different. Yes. I can't be a friend with a different person. Okay. So can you give me an example of different so that even if children are watching, they also know the kind of people they should be making friends with? You can make friends with people who are not for me, who are less privileged. They can tell you how, they can make you understand how privileged you are. Okay. People who are poor people. Who need to who beg to be able to make a living? People who are contributing to their contributing to their school fees. People who are feeding themselves, feeding their parents. Okay. People who can't work and disabled people. Okay, disabled people too. You should be able to make friends with them. Yes. What uh, are, what other kind of people should you make friends with? We should make friends with um. People who are ill, we can help them to go to the hospital. So people, people also, this um, Christmas period, even Easter period, and at other times, people also visit children in the hospital. So we could also visit children in the hospital, right? Yes. Yeah, and make friends with them. Okay. Yeah. My plan, who else can we make friends with? Can make friends with good people, people who, who don't tend to be <coughs> stealing, like people who, when they see someone passing, if you don't give them anything, they insult you, they steal money from your pocket. Those are the type of friends you shouldn't make. So you shouldn't we make? Sh we shouldn't, we shouldn't be friends with. We should be friends with people who are honest, truthful, to tell you that, I actually don't have this. Please, if you have a little, can you help me with it? And then you'll be like, okay, not people who always brag and say, I have this, I have that, I have this, I, d I have that, I don't need yours. So those are the type of people we should be But if, if you decide that um, people, in quotes, who are not doing things right, 
if you don't want to associate with them, I'm not saying they should be your best friends, but if you don't associate with them, how would they know the love of Christ? Just asking, what do you think? Yes, I should also share the gospel with them. Okay, Eden, what, you want to have to say something about this? I think you should tell them that Jesus loves them. You can just go walk up to them, tell them Jesus loves them. You can just give them something, they listen to you and you're off. Not that. And then you can be surprised by tomorrow. They come to your door asking, that thing you were talking to me about yesterday, Jesus is love. And then you cannot explain further. Mm -hmm. And then later on, they can, Jesus can be in their hearts. Okay. That's for stubborn children, bad children, who may be a bad influence on you. Yes. Okay. But um, making friends with people, as Eden said, we should be willing to make friends with people who are different from us. In other words, people who may not be as wealthy as us, yes. people who may have one disability or the other, when we say people have disabilities, what do we mean? They have something that is wrong in their body. Like Maybe what? they can't walk, they, can't, they are paralyzed. That, that means they can't move some parts of their body. Okay. People who... Yeah, blind people. Yeah. Deaf people. Deaf people. Dumb. Dumb. They can't talk. Okay, that's interesting. So, does any of you have any friend that has any disability? Um, do you have any friend? I know someone, but I don't know whether to call the person. <laughs> Your He's friend. older than me. Okay. Okay. We, we call her Kuma. Why? She can't hear you. She in your school? No. So where do you get to know her? She lives around us. Okay. So how do you communicate with her? She, she makes you signals. Like, thank you. You can just do like this. She will understand. Okay. Okay. So sign language. And you are yes. friendly with her. Okay. Nice. Nice. So, parents now, what's, based on what you know, the little you know about Christmas and what you think Christmas is all about, what would you like our parents to be doing during Christmas? Maybe something you want them to do differently. I know you've mentioned something, but something you may want them to do differently. I want them to think about and consider doing during Christmas. Do you have anything? Okay, Eden, let's start with you. I think during Christmas they should try to have more time with us. Parents, I hope we're listening. We want more time with you during Christmas, okay? What else can they do? They can. Try to shut, shut down, like on Christmas, friends are always busy. Try to shut down, like they are calling for this meeting. See, I'm busy. Okay, so they should reduce their meetings yes. and spend more time at home. Yes. And then, of course, certainly they shouldn't go to work on yes. Christmas Day. They should be home. Okay. Jenom, what okay. else? Tell parents, tell parents, they are listening. Okay. What do you want them to do for Christmas different? They should... Um, Think of the birth of Christ, okay. and they should be. Um, they should have more time with their families and friends. Okay. They should visit ladies' friends. They should um, tell others about the birth of Jesus Christ. Okay. That, okay, is there more you want to say? Okay, so that's what you want adults to hear. Okay, now what do you want to tell children about Christmas? What should they do? Okay, when... Um, for those who their parents don't have money, they shouldn't change their parents to get to get new clothes, new shoes, make them new hair. They should be satisfied with what they have. They should be content. And then they should also know that it's not their birthday we are celebrating, but it's the birthday of Jesus Christ. Mm, nice. So it's not their birthday, so they shouldn't be demanding too many things. Yes. It's Jesus' birthday, and Jesus is not demanding for any dress. Right? 
Okay, Funam, what would you want to tell children um, about how to spend or what they can do differently about Christmas, how they should spend Christmas? Okay, they should stop thinking about um, their being clothes their parents are going to buy, the food they are going to eat and uh, and the places they are going to go. They should focus on the birth of Jesus Christ. Okay, nice. Eden. What I can say now is to that children. What I can say to the children who are listening is that Christmas is the time to remember the birth of Jesus. The birth of Jesus. Instead, instead, you know when when it's your birthday, what makes you happy is that they get you some. They, th they do the things you like. There are things Jesus likes to. Like he likes it when you worship him. Don't you like it when mommy says, good job. Okay. So Jesus likes to be worshipped. You can praise him. You can thank God for sending his son to you. Okay. So we do what Jesus likes yes. on his birthday. Yes. Yes. And not only what you like, but what Jesus likes. Jesus likes. Interesting. So... Have you said everything you want to say about Christmas to people listening today that we have the opportunity to tell them all we want to tell them? Yes. You've said everything you want to say? Yes. Mark Plank? Yes. Okay. So, Eden, you have anything you want to say again about Christmas? No. Okay. So, viewers, today we've talked about what Christmas is all about. The children have told us. That Christmas is about the birth of Christ who has come into this world to be our savior, to wash away our sins. And it doesn't come automatic to everybody, right, Eden? You need to, yes, tell us again what you said. You need to ask Jesus to be your Lord and savior. Pray and ask him to come and live with you and tell you what is right or wrong. Ask him to forgive you from all the bad things you've done in the past and try to live a new and better life. Okay. I like that. And then we've talked about the things we like about Christmas, the things we want our parents to do for Christmas. And one of the things that's come up is that we like all like family time. Everybody likes family time. And we've told you parents that it's not the money that is um, important. We want your time. So give us time. Stop attending all those meetings during Christmas, right? <laughs> Stop attending all those meetings. And of course, don't go to work on, on Christmas Day or Christmas period, not just Christmas Day. But don't go to work. Just be around. Play with us. Sing with us. Yes? Dance. What of that? Who likes dancing? Yes. Okay, so dance with us. Tell stories. Right? You like yes. stories? Yes. Yeah? Okay, and they should watch movies, movies with us. Yes, right? Yes, and visit family with us. Yes, we should visit. Visit our family members. Visit our neighbors. Right? Yes. Yes. That's what we want our parents to do. And we've also advised children on them. Um, how to do, how to take Christmas. Yes. Not to be gingery, mommy and daddy. Yes, to, to spend so much money on you, but rather do what Jesus Life. likes. Yes. Because on your own birthday, you want people to do what you like. So do for Jesus what he likes on his birthday. So worship him, praise him, and live your life in a way that will be pleasing and honoring to him. So, Mark Plan, yes, Genom, yes, and Eden, yes. thank you so much for coming today to spend Christmas with us. So, what will you tell our viewers? What do you say to them, Christmas? Will you say Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas? Merry Christmas and thank you for listening. Yes. Did you say Merry Christmas? Yes. Say it now so that they will hear. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas and thank you for listening. Merry Christmas to you all. And Merry Christmas, viewers. Thank you for spending time with us. And I hope the things we've talked about today, you're not going to forget. You're going to implement them. Parents, please spend time with us. Spend time with us. That's what we want. We wish you all a Merry Christmas. And please do what Jesus likes. Praise and worship him. So have a Merry Christmas. And we look forward to seeing you again at our next edition. God bless you and keep doing what Jesus likes.